Alright guys, back with another Daisy tutorial. Um, I just wanted to show you quickly how you go about, you know, changing your map to run DRL or if your DRL is going to be your first server, how you go about getting DRL, your server to load DRL basically. Um, really simple. Uh, first thing you want to do is make sure you install the DRL map mod on your server and also make sure you subscribe to it on your Steam client. Uh, so just go to your Steam, go to Workshop like I've done here and you just subscribe to the mod. Next thing you want to do is um, obviously make sure if you need to, um, a lot of servers do it automatically, but if you need to, um, add your, your, the mod to your start bat perimeters so it actually loads the mod and add the, the keys to the key folder. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do that because I'm guessing you know, this isn't really going to be your first mod you install in, so you already know how to do the keys and the um, start bat stuff. Um, but yeah, once you've got the mod um, installed in your server, what you need to do then is go over to your internet, uh, go over to whatever browser you prefer to use, and you want to go to this site. Now, I will put this link in the description, um, but what you want to do when you're on this site, at the top, go to download and license. Um, just you need to scroll to the bottom if you want to read all this stuff it's about you know how you can support them donate on PayPal and become a patron but if you want to read all that go ahead and read all that um, but if not just scroll straight down to the bottom and click this bottom box here where it says I have read understood and accept the DRL license uh, it'll take you then to this site uh, go ahead and double click on the DRL stable version and at the moment there's only two versions in here two folders uh, but you always want to go in and pick the latest one uh, so for me it's this bottom one now the way i read this is it's version 4.5 for the drr map but it's daisy version 1.13 now daisy is on 1.114 currently and soon to be on 1.15 but you know this 1.13 still works uh, everything still works so just go ahead and pick the latest one you possibly can so Double click on that, open it up. You've got you know some files in here. Now you only really need one file, but you may need two. Um, if you're on a server that you know you manually need to add the keys to the key folder, go ahead and download the bike key here. Uh, that's here. Go ahead and download that and put it into your keys folder. If it does it automatically, uh, you shouldn't need to worry about this. Um, I haven't needed to worry about it. It's done it automatically. But what you do need is the mission file, and that's the last one here, empty.drl.ra. Click on these three dots and download it. Um, I download a zip. Uh, I'm not sure what standard download is, but either one should work. Once you've done that, go to wherever you choose to download it. For me, it's always on my desktop. Um, and you want to go ahead and open up the RAW file. Make sure you've got like a WinZip program or something. You can extract the RAW file and you basically want to extract this. Um, now, I've extracted to my desktop, but you could extract it directly to... Um, your MP mission folder for your DayZ server if you want to, you know, directly. But I always I download it straight to my desktop and it is here in the middle of my desktop. Um, so this folder, you want to put it into your server. So, go to my server. Uh, right, so, we'll go to my main servers. For me, it's dear old. And you want to go to your MP mission folder. And you want to, you can see I've already got it in there, but you want to put that empty.drl folder that you've just extracted from the download um, into this folder. Don't put the, the raw file in here. You need to put the actual folder, the extracted uh, folder into there. Uh, if we go into it, we can see we've got all the missions, uh, all the stuff you need. The only, there's two things in here that you won't have. Uh, one is the storage folder. So the storage folder will get, you know, created when you start the server. Providing you know you've got a working server, make sure you know you can load into Tenaris or you know you you can load into some sort of map. Your server is actually working. Um, I don't want you to install this and something doesn't work, and you think it's the DRL. You know you think it's something wrong with DRL itself, where it could be an issue with something else with the server. Um, you know when you create it, so you know make sure your server works. Um, but yeah, so. Other than that, once you've got this in and your server's loading fine, this storage folder will generate when you start the server. Uh, the only other thing you won't have, which I've got in here, um, is a custom types folder. This is something I created because this is where I put all my types.xml files. You know, I've got custom ones. I have a types.xml file for each modded item. 
but you know, you may not have this, you may not do yours like this, you may put yours straight into the normal types of XML file. But either way, you won't have that. Um, so that's something else I created. Apart from that, you've got one more thing to do. You want to go back to the main root of your server. Um, and you want to find now if this could either be called server dot d not dot I keep saying dot server dz dot cfg or it could be called config cfg if I remember correctly um, I know I've had a server before now where it's called config dot cfg either way you need to go into this file um, uh, I'll go and do that now but I've just got a password I need to remove quickly um, and then I'll uh, show you what you do next Okay, so I've gone ahead and removed whatever passwords I needed to remove. Um, and there's only one line, to be honest. Uh, but you'll have a, a file that looks like this. Um, and the, the bit that you're really interested in... Now, I've got a couple other things in here that you probably won't have as well. But generally, you'll have a file that looks like this. At least similar. Uh, but the bit you need is this mission bit that I've highlighted. Now, mine's like roughly in the middle. Sometimes it's at the bottom I've seen it. Um, I don't think it really matters where it is as long as it's in there um, But we will do this template now you can see mine's already done it because I've already got it up and running It's empty .drl. by default. It will say like daisy offline dot Chinaris plus that's going off the top of my memory. I'm pretty sure it's something like that daisy Offline or daisy. Yeah daisy offline dot Chinaris plus I'm I'm pretty sure it's that so by default it will say that but what you do what you do need to do is change it to empty .drl, um, and that will be the mission name and you know the map that the server will load so you can actually load into DRL. so your server loads DRL. anyway make sure you file save it uh, I'm not going to because I don't need to uh, but save it uh, you always want to make sure your server is offline too I always forget to mention that at the start um, I don't think it really matters, but make sure your server's offline. It will help usually. Once you've done that, then start your server up, let it all load up, and then you should be able to log in and you're good to go. Now, just a couple of things quickly I want to mention uh, before I do go is if you are having any sort of trouble, um, something's not working, you, you're confused about something, um, you don't quite understand what I've said, even though it should be straightforward, uh, but if you're having any sort of issues at all and it doesn't work, um, my Discord link is in the YouTube channel. So join that, come and speak to me, send me a message, you know, whatever way you want to contact me on Discord, do that and uh, I'll get back and I'll help you as soon as I can. Uh, you can message on YouTube if you want to, but it's not very practical on there. It's, um, it's much better in Discord, you know, you can send pictures, you can have a proper conversation on discord without sending like 50,000 messages on YouTube trying to help someone um, I get a lot of people messaging me saying this doesn't work um, I followed you've got your video correctly um, and pretty much 10 times out of 10 they haven't they they've not done something so uh, don't just say it doesn't work because if you follow it 100% correctly um, it does work unless you know you're watching this say six months down the line um, a year down the line and something's changed um, then this way does work if, if something does change and I'm you know a year down the line I'm still running a dear old server um, I'll make an updated guide but yeah at the moment this works like this so um, if you do everything correctly you should have no trouble and it should work if you are in trouble like I said join discord and I'll help you when I can but anyway that's it um, yeah thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time guys bye bye